Thanks for checking in to Simple Sherlock Chef Stuff Made Easy today. I'm out on location. I'm going to make a nice barbecue potato and black bean salad with sun-dried tomatoes and feta cheese. The shopping list you need for this is as follows. Potatoes, black beans, red onion, garlic, shallots, very mild chili, sun-dried tomatoes in oil, anchovy paste in oil, anchovies in oil, Dijon mustard, parmesan cheese, feta cheese, salt and pepper. Right, so first things first, I need to barbecue and bake my potatoes. So I'm using the double whammy tin foil, as I call it, the book effect, right? Two, two pieces layered on top of each other like so. Out with a bunch of buddies today, so we're, we're, we're all pitching in with the food. Right, so I'm layering this a few times over because obviously it's going on or just above the charcoal and I don't wish to burn the charcoal. Uh, to burn, burn the charcoal, burn the tin foil. <sighs> Stupid Sherlock. Too early in the day for me, my friend. Right, potatoes. Right, garlic and just cutting that in half, whole bulbs, like so. Right, where are we? A little bit of sun-dried tomato oil. That just helps with the flavor and roast together with the potatoes. Okay, sea salt, black pepper. Don't be shy with the pepper and the salt. All right, potatoes absorb salt, okay? All right, one more time on top. One, two pieces, like so. And then holding the book over, like that. The book effect, All right. Rolling it in. Keeping it loosely rolled, so it steam bakes at the same time. And that, my friends, is ready for the barbie and it should take about 45 minutes. So I want two types of flavors and textures for my potato salad, so I made these kind of kebab things. I'm going to put them over on the charcoal. Right, so my potatoes are almost cooked. I'm going to make the salad. Right, so I'm going to pre-chop a couple of things first. My shallots, rough dice. It is a farmer outdoor rustic salad here. Right, so shallots. Keep them on the side. I do miss my global. Uh, I have to import them from the States, you know, living on an island, it's very nice being in the Caribbean. But when you uh, need these type of things, you have to go on Amazon. Bit of a pain. For those of you who don't know, stupid Sherlock is banging the end of a conch shell. <laughs> it was a small one. And a couple of my mates were saying, how could you do that? I'm like, yeah, I know, you know. How could I do it? Because I was not thinking. Just being stupid. There you go. All right, red onions. Right, Running up and down the uh, fingernail as a guidance for your knife. That's how us chefs are able to chop like that. Yeah. All right. All done. Okay. So Dijon mustard my dressing sun-dried tomatoes I'm going to use a bit of oil and some of the tomatoes are chopping yeah. anchovy oil vinegar 
You're using your rice vinegar for this? Seasoning, sea salt and black pepper. Parmesan cheese. And now I'm gonna add the remainder of the oil. So this is just a salad dressing base for my potatoes. Okay. Tastes marvelous. That's sun dried tomatoes. For me, the sun dried tomatoes and cheese, better cheese. There's always a great combination. Right, so onions. Yep, red onions. Just rough chopping my um, sun dried tomato. That's one great thing to use in the cleaver, actually, I have to say. It's uh, the scooping. So in go the shallots. And everything else. Black beans. Right. Give that a little mix and we're gonna see how the flavour is because the potatoes with the garlic is coming next, yeah? Look at the colours on that, isn't that beautiful already? Huh? taken them out of the foil and just tossed them in the oil with the garlic yeah wonderful now the parmesan oops <laughs> okay that reminds me of a story mr clive travis my favorite gastronaut we were down by the pitons on the side of the uh, south of the island and uh, he'd been salivating all morning on this big fat juicy steak that uh, we were about to cook and we had it on the barbie everything there and what does he do <laughs> chops it in the sand <laughs> oh, I haven't laughed so hard on something for a long long time sorry Clive and you know what he did respect to him he went off dropped it in the sea washed it off put it back under under charcoals get rid of the sand hey fair play to him eh? not sure if I would have thought of that one but uh, I definitely would it was a piece of steak so Clive I'll never let you forget that one my brother yeah. Yes, these are warm. I and mean, you see the great use, the uh, use of having one of these um, cleaners. It also works for a great scoop. As long as you're used to them. I don't want to recommend it. And then you slice off one of your fingers, then you go cursing me after. Yeah. Because if you're gonna cut yourself with one of these now, pretty sure you're gonna do some damage. Right. Look at that. Mm. 
I had some ready-made tortilla dough done. And this isn't something I've made, it's one of these packet things, you know? So you just add liquid and then roll it, yeah? Right. So I want to make little round tortillas with my salad. Thank you. It says on the packet you make 12. Obviously I haven't scaled them out properly. Right. So. Right, so you roll them out. Like so they're not bad. Sometimes I prefer to make all my own stuff, but this is actually not bad. When you, I bought these and used them before. Um, they taste pretty good. So sometimes when you're just feeling a bit lazy, why not? Yeah. I'm sure more chefs like me also use chicken powder from time to time. Right, so roll it out. So I heat up, and uh, now if you see over there, I've got my buddies dancing away. Now, while I'm rolling this. Have a look at this bit. I was taking a break earlier in between my filming and my mate showed me how to um, boil periwinkles in a plastic cup on a, on a blistering hot uh, coal. How cool is that? You put you to taste the plastic, eh? I thought, yep. <laughs> you never presume to be arrogant to tell anyone who's showing me something that I don't know. So, very, very cool. There you go. Yeah. I'll bring your phone back. I'll right. bring your phone. Oh, this one is very heavy. You know. <laughs> wow, how cool is that? So, my tortillas are finished. Just piling them on, on there, like so. Right, my <clears throat> potato salad with black beans and some nice sun dried tomatoes. Very simple beachy salad for me this lunch. Right, and I charcoal grilled some potatoes. Also, in the process, to give two textures, right? Parmesan cheese. And some feta cheese. Seasoning, how nice does that look? I've invited my buddy Chantel to come over and have a taste and tell me you're training to be a chef, right? Yeah. All right, there you go. You first. This on, one. on you. Salad, tortillas, so like, like that. Like that. 
this off. Don't be shy. Eat away. There's plenty. There you go. A bit of mustard. A bit of Dijon. Sorry, sorry. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Really Easy? Yep. Yeah. Can you do that? I can try. There you come. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget. Check out my social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And also... Simple Sherlock every Monday, Monday 4 o'clock GMT. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe by clicking over my shoulder that way. Yep. Alright, bon appetit. Cheers. <laughs>